All right, this is going to be speed, okay? We cannot take long because every single time it cuts us off. So this is speed telling story. And no cussing. No cussing at all. All right, so this is Emily. Hey, Emily, wave to everyone. This is my best friend from home. All right, I'm at home this weekend, like I've already told most of you, because they thought I had the swine flu, but it turns out it's just like a sinus infection or something, but I was still really sick, and I had a fever 102 a weekend, but that's not the point. Not the, the point, point is, I dyed my hair, okay, dye hair, check, okay. I did it, it's bright red under there, if you can't, yeah, you can tell, they can tell. Okay, okay. good, all right. All right, and then, hold on, I'm going to give a quick tour of my house, okay? Quick. Okay, quick. All right, kitchen, there it is, okay, and then room with baby grand, living room, okay, hall, all right. Then outside, car, gay pride flag. My mom's gay. We've already been through this. All right. So then, okay, so we dyed my hair. All right, now um, we're talking about going to bingo tonight. I know I'm just recovering from a code, but that's okay because we're going to still probably go. I bingo. really think we could probably get this done in like three minutes because I'm talking so fast. Right, bingo. bingo. 40 years old. Do it. <laughs> Golden girls. Golden girls. Go. I'm 40. Okay. I no life. No friends. Me now that we've like girls. spark notes this, I don't think they're gonna like get it as much as we could before. Right. But the last video we did like went over like and it wouldn't. Let it was us... ten minutes long. It was actually. And I only dropped the f bomb once, which is good for her. Okay. <laughs> All right. So here's the deal. Um, we also were considering going to this haunted house called Hysteria that Brandy works at, but um, reminds me of Disturbia. That's why we haven't. Have is that like a dog lover kind of yeah. illusion? <laughs> if you haven't checked it out, go check out Dog Lover. Dog Lover. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did you all know Dog Lover's real name is Jordan? That's she like, lives in Destin, Florida. I knew that. I didn't know that. I knew that. I just didn't know her real name was she's Jordan. She's my hero. I think she's everybody's hero. Do you think you Actually, can dress up like her for like Halloween or something? Maybe. You would just like have, dance. I want to be Waldo for Put jail, gel in your hair. Everybody's Waldo for Halloween. Never. No, really. Whatever. Though, everyone is. Okay. Anyways, actually, you know what? I don't know if you've ever done this before, Robert Connie, but you look like Waldo. You should be Waldo for Halloween. But I don't know if you've ever done it. Okay, because I'm sure you get that all the time. All right. You know what made the last video so long? What? Dad stories. Oh, that is what made it so long. Okay, well, Emily's dad's really kooky, and that's the end of that. But sorry, sorry to bring that up. You can confuse it's me. because he texted me. Okay, anyways, so uh, Haunted House stories. Right. Haunted Hotel, downtown Louisville. Yeah, since, okay, look, since it's October, we're going to get probably talking about Haunted Hotel, I mean, Haunted Houses a lot, because we really love them. They're our favorite, and we kind of wish they were year-round. But they're only in October, and since it's October, we're really excited about it. So, let's tell them about the Haunted Hotel. Haunted Hotel. Downtown Louisville. Me, Kristen. Brandy. Brandy. Jenna. Jenna. Alyssa. Yes, last year. All right. <coughs> Wasn't, didn't I drive down there? And I almost drove up no, the exit sure, I'm sure, pretty sure Brandy drove. Are you sure? And Aly Alyssa and Brandy both drove. Okay, you're, okay. I'm pr I don't know, though. Okay, well, anyways. Maybe I drove. I don't know. I usually always You drive. always drive. But that's only because the Yaris is nice. Okay. So, now we have to do this, like, speed tell. Right. Okay. So, get in, elevator, scary guy, boo. We can go elaborate a little more than that. <laughs> okay, so we wait, like, ten minutes to go up, and we're waiting in line, so we all get to go in, and we have to walk up these really scary stairs onto this elevator. And they're all chill. They're not going to think anything's happening. But I'm trembling in my boots already. Like, I'm about to be pissing my pants. And so then all of a sudden, this guy, like, he's the bellhop, kind of. The bellhop. And of he's, the hotel. Yeah. And so then he, like, he's bald and old. And he jumps and goes, rah, at me. And it scared me. Like, I'm sure I just scared all of you all. <coughs> anyway. <coughs> Anyways, as you can tell, I'm getting better. So we get out. And the next thing we got to do is go through the birth canal. Yeah, just like that. Hello, world. It's me. <laughs> oh, I'm a baby covered in phlegm. Ew! Placenta, not phlegm. <laughs> phlegm is like what you cough up in your nose. Uh, placenta? Placenta. That's the stuff all over you? Yeah. That's gross. Okay. So anyways, anyways, <laughs> back to the point. It was like a birthing canal, this thing we had to go through. It was like all these like air pillows. Like It was like air a pillows. sheet that was like... Inflated. Inflated, yeah. It was kind of like we were going through a tube. Like, I thought I was going to suffocate and die. Like, right. I knew it was going to happen. So, okay, anyways. So, <laughs> so, we get out of this birthing canal, and let's just fast forward through all the other nasty things right. and go to Emily's favorite part of the story. Right. We forgot the fact that I'm first in line, even though I'm the most scared person. Most scared. I'm, I'm scared of plastic bags. Literally, that's no joke. So distracting okay so we get my number one fear is clown hate clowns earthquake all right i hate clowns and so i'm in the front and Kristen's behind me number two in line 
and she notices something that I don't, and that's that the next room is, in fact, the clown room. So what she does to be a total, total horrible best friend, she puts her arms out and doesn't let anybody, she blocks Brandy and Jenna and Alyssa from going through, and actually throttles me into, into the, the clown like, room. And so... There's like strobe lights going, okay. So the whole, like right now the whole room's like empty, there's nothing in there, right? Because right. they were obviously waiting for somebody to come around. Right. So, so the clown like pins me up against the wall. Well, okay, like, the strobe lights are going, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you see this clown come out from nowhere, okay? Nowhere. He came out of nowhere. He, like, literally came out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. And anyways, so Emily is in the, the room all by herself. Like, I'm alone. We're in the doorway still. Laughing. Yeah. <laughs> and Emily is in the middle of the room with this clown, like, coming at her. Having a panic attack. Can't breathe. Starting to black out. Folding up into the fetal position. And sinking into the, leaning up against the wall, sinking into the floor, into the fetal position. <coughs> and needless Crying, to say. Blacking out. Yeah. I was about to pass out, literally. I'm not kidding. So anyways, finally someone pushed me forward and we like went through and we got. No, Alyssa, quarterback Alyssa tackled me out of the room. Like ran and throttled me. It's like, because someone was still behind them chasing them. And so they wanted to get out of there, but I didn't want to go in that room. Uh -huh. Okay. Anyways, we have to hurry up. We only have like. Not even that many minutes left. So anyways, basically what we're trying to get to is we love haunted houses. Mm -hmm. But we, hate clowns. Yeah, hate clowns. But I mean, but we're always scared of them. Like we always decide like we're not going to go, but then we're going to go, but then we're not going to go. Oh, and then afterwards when we get done, Kristen always throws up in the parking lot. But is that like normal? I mean, that's a normal thing, like, right? She throws up all the time. Um, well, see, they know this too. They, they're around me all the time too. It's actually an issue there too. No, I have a complex about this. Then don't throw up. You, what, what, oh my, my favorite throw up moment was when we were at Applebee's with Lindsay Newton and you two oh. were sitting there and then all of a sudden I throw up and Lindsay Newton like is like, what just happened? And <laughs> I'm totally unfazed by it. Yeah, and you and Brandy are just like, oh, you know, it happens. Every day occurs. All right, well, we're going to go because we're running out of time and we just hope this doesn't cut off. If it cuts off, we're really sorry. Okay, we're Should just we gonna, wait for a minute. Yeah, we're gonna wait for a minute okay. and see what happens. Let's just wait for a whole minute. We can just do random things while we wait. Okay. We can listen to Miley Cyrus while we wait. I love Miley Cyrus. By the way, if we're still, if you're, you can still hear us, which I'm sure you can. Um, you should follow her on Twitter. I know some people don't like Miley Cyrus as much as I love her, but you should do it anyways. I love this song. I mostly love it because she drops names of my two favorite people in the world. Jay-Z Jay and Britney Spears. Two favorite people in the world. Miley purposely wrote this song for her. So. Alright, I think we're almost... Here's what really pisses me off. Oh, I'll tell you in a second. Can you say this? I don't think she cares about that one. 